Wow, 3%. Officially, that is the worst city for traffic I have ever seen. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to City Skyline. Fix your city where we take a city and we solve the traffic problems. This city was sent in by Rory on Twitter. Thank you very much for sending this in. The city is called Landland. And he said, I've got traffic hell. What am I going to do? And we're going to take a look at this and sort it out for you. You've got some horrendous traffic coming in here. You've got traffic there. It's backing up all over the show. So I'll tell you what. Let's take a look at what the traffic is at at the moment. 15% and getting worse. Yeah, I would say definitely traffic hell. So we've got a lot of traffic coming off of here. Going around there. And then they're all backing up along here. And then they're coming in there and they're wanting to head into the city. So straight away I can see you've got this junction here that everyone comes off. And they've got to drive through this area before they can get to anywhere else. Yeah, you want to give your guys and girls more ways into, into or out of the city. Then we come along this way, for instance. Let's go from the other direction. You've got like a little thing here. I bet that's an underground road. Aha! So this comes off your highway and it goes all the way through, all the way through. There's no other roads coming off of it. And it goes all the way through to the other side. There we go. Um, I like this here. Look, you're feeding <laughs> your entire city's water. It's coming from this little muddy puddle here. It's fantastic. I love that. I love that. Just a little heads up. The traffic gets as low as 4%. It's going down. I was going to say 5%, but as we're watching, it's getting worse. Oh, my goodness me. So what my thoughts are, we've got this industry here. We've got some industry up the top here. And I believe, let's have a look. Industry. And then you've got offices and things. You've got some industry here. So even this industry here has to go down all the main roads, round to this roundabout, and then all the way back round again to get back onto the highway. We need to add more more highway to give these guys and girls a way in and out of the city just a little insight into what i do as i prepare to fix your cities i like to get a little insight into where the traffic goes and i've what i've done is i've deleted each end of this underground tunnel to force the traffic to go through the highway and it makes it really easy to see where problems are. Like, look, all of these guys here look like they all want to come off of here. And because of this lane problem here, look, you can see it's causing them issues. I bet if we change this and did our normal fix that I think you guys and girls should know by now. I fixed this one up here. I've put some four lanes in and I've used the lane management tool here. So we've got a lane for the cars to go off. Um, I wanted to upgrade this one as well, but it's outside the city limits. It won't let me upgrade that one look i'll show you no outside city limits even with road anarchy on little trick if you use move it mods we'll grab that bit there move it into the city limit so this entire piece of rose inside the city we'll upgrade that to a four lane there we go and then if you go back to move it mod and do control z it will do undo so there's the node bing and it's jumped back over to there again so now we've got four lanes here which is good and that is going to help because we're going to do the same thing here and say you can come off eventually once the game ai has moved on these guys here blocking the lanes look the other ones will move on let's see if we can give these guys some more entrances and exits into the city so let's add a highway intersection here and what i'm thinking is is we're going to have a highway intersection here that breaks off gives these guys and girls some access to the highway that snakes around here give these guys and girls some access to the highway and then joins up again over here that is the plan so let me just put something in this is what we've added so far just the normal vanilla junction that comes in the game run the highway down here i've put this normal vanilla junction into an island we'll probably change how this is set up in a moment and then we're just going to run that road around here somewhere and connect up to here now i have had comments before about removing whole loads of areas and putting in roundabouts and things like that sometimes that just needs to be done um particularly if uh, let me just find what i'm looking for three lane highway Particularly if the way things are built aren't the way that you really need them to solve the problem. So something like that. So we're going to lose a few businesses, but nothing that's going to give us huge amounts of problems. And also, as always, we want to just give the roundabouts some breathing space. 
So let's remove a business or two from the roads right next to it. There we go. And keep that area clear there. And then this is where the highway is going to connect to uh, over to here. So let me just run that. A mod that can really help with doing this sort of stuff is the Parallel Road Tool mod. If you want to look that up. And it will. I'm not going to go through how the whole thing works. But you can see what I'm doing at the moment. It allows you to draw... Uh, roads in parallel so like i am here let's just see if we can get this to line up well there we go that's allowed me to put this highway in with a nice gap in between it exactly the same all the way along and that's now going to connect up to there okay there we go so on the uh west side of the city i suppose we're going to call this we've got one of these now and you can see most people are coming in and going that way instead of coming through the center of the city and then they're going to come along to the junction up here so let's take this area first and see if we can sort the traffic out in here because obviously we've got a bit of an issue so let's take Take a look so they're coming in the first thing i would want to check is that this roundabout has been set up correctly yep so they're all giving way as they come on then i would use the junction restrictions and see if they've been set which they have that's fine so most of those are coming round and then coming along here and then coming down this way and joining with all the other traffic and hitting this section here i would definitely stick a roundabout in here to keep all of this moving a bit smoother. It looks like these guys here are also coming through there to get on the highway. There we go. Now, that's a good start. Now, something you'll notice here. Look, you've got all these people walking down the bridge. They were happy to walk from over this side of the city to over this side. But now that we've used these highway roads, they've got no way of getting from one side to the other. So what I'm also going to do is just stick a few little bridges in here to help them get over to where they want to go. There we go. We can see the people are coming along here, walking up on the bridge. And let's speed the thing up. And they can walk anywhere round the side, which is really good. So that is going to help. You want to make sure people have plenty of ways to walk around your city. Talking about alternative ways to get around your city, what do you have for your mass transit? So you have buses, no trams, a couple of very well, uh, one very well used metro line, one not so much. You have one train route and nothing else. Okay. So like we saw, people love to walk. So let's give these guys and girls a bridge to get from one side to the other. And then we can just connect that up over here somewhere. There we go. So they can start cutting across there. We can have another one over here. Some more. Yeah, let me just set up some of these along here. I think that's really going to help with people getting around the city. Right, I put a couple more paths crossing over. We've got this one here, which is starting to be used, which is good. Uh, we've got the one that we put in before and then a bit further up the river. And there we go. We've got this one here and that's starting to be used as well. So that is definitely less traffic on the road. So going back to this little highway we built here, you want to keep uh, this little roundabout. I mean, you want to keep things moving on a roundabout like this. So any junctions next to it. So we come along here. You've got a nice amount of space between the highway and this junction. But you want this junction coming in to give way. And you want this one to give way as well. Just to keep the main road moving. Um, I would perhaps do the same there as well. And then it keeps moving around here. So you've got your main road acting as a main road. There we go. And it will stop things like this where it all starts backing up. Um, again, I would normally have, say, a roundabout at the other end just to keep. Because that is your main way into this area. So as you can see, things will move smoothly until it sort of blocks up. Yep, there we go. We could just fit one in. The buildings are disappearing. That's good. And if we just check, the roundabout mod has automatically set all those things for us. So that's going to keep that moving coming across the bridge. And let's follow us along and see where they're slowing down. So we've got this little junction here. Again, I would do the same thing. I would say you have to give way. Keep this main one moving. There we go. Keep the main road moving. These little side lanes. These little side lanes here and that one and that one give way and then you come onto a roundabout like this so this little roundabout here it's good you've got plenty of lanes plenty of roads you've got crossings and things everywhere so actually i'm going to leave this roundabout in and i'm going to just make sure that the people coming on have to give way like that there we go and then we're going to use the junction restrictions and say you can keep moving you can keep moving we'll do that on all of these got this junction here which is right next to the roundabout so i'm going to say you guys on the side give way done that side that's quite a way down that's fine i might just do the same on that one and then what i might do is you can see every time somebody crosses over it's slowing down the traffic so 
again instead of rebuilding this all changing the roads and all that sort of thing i'm just showing you something a little bit different we could just put a little there we go we'll just put that in there and then what we can actually say is if we grab the junction restriction it's say don't cross over so we'll turn off all these crossings i get all of those yep and then the people will start using there we go we'll start using our crossings instead and just leave that look already we can see it's moving along nicely 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 let's grab some of these junctions down here come on what are you waiting for you're waiting for something i don't know where are you going so you want to turn into there. That's what it is. So we've got a dedicated turning road and straight on. I bet this guy wants to go straight on. No, he's turning. Where are you going? You're going straight on. Yeah, so depending on how busy things get, as that seems to be a bit of an issue because of the busyness of the road, is don't have that as straight on. Anybody that wants to go straight on has to go in there because not many people are going left. There's only a small little road. There's nothing much down there. But this is like a bigger road coming through here. So lots of people are turning right. There we go. Look. So already people are pulling out and coming along here and going straight on. Which is fantastic. And we could maybe do a similar thing going the other way. As that is the other way into this busy road. So let's grab that and say you don't go straight on. You go left. And then this guy goes... Uh, this lane here goes straight on and right. And that just keeps that traffic moving. That's a good idea to do that on busy junctions. Just taking a quick look. We're up to 35% traffic flow. So not bad. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so taking a look again at the areas that we've worked on so far. So we put this roundabout in here. Coming along the highway over the river to here. This is moving nice and smoothly. It's no longer backing up down this main road here. This is quite busy here. You've got your cargo train terminal normally i would not put those right smack bang on a road that leads without access right to the highway i would perhaps move that up here and give it its own little access to the highway that would normally be a good thing but it's not too bad and then the main traffic's moving that's moving nicely across the river's moving nicely this is moving nicely it's just sort of snarling up a bit along here i tell you what we've probably got is people turning left and going straight on so let's grab this tool down here the change lane yeah we're gonna have that as left and that as straight on there we go look guys are diving out to go straight on keep that moving pretty sure we've already put give way you're thinking about which lane to go into aren't you go on you can do it yes there we go you're waiting to turn left but you're now not holding up all the other traffic which is great this is freeing up. Let's have a look here. See, I'm going to do the same thing here as well. I'm going to say to you, uh, that's it, right and straight on only. And then I'm going to do the same here. So left and straight on only. And then it's all snarling up at this bit because they're waiting to get round. So this is getting pretty busy. We want to get this going. Okay, well, let's do something here then. Let's just stick with using the lane restrictions as that's working so well. So we're going to say you can be left and you can be just for turning right. And then this side here, you can be for left and you can be straight on and turn right. This one here, we've literally got all these guys and only two lanes. I mean, again, you've got this as one of your big through roads here. So rather than traffic lights there... I would definitely say you've got to give way and you've got to uh, give way just to keep this moving. And then we'll take junction restrictions. So you carry on and you carry on. And then once it's sort of all <laughs> got moving a bit, like this little connection here, I would say no, we don't want that. Let them go through down into there. Let these ones go over here and just not have that connection because some are trying to sort of bypass what's going on. Yes. Let's see how that goes after a few minutes running. Ah, uh, this is why so many cars are coming down here. You have this expo center attached to this little tiny road here, and it's bringing all these people down with tons and tons of visitors. Do you have any... See, this would be a perfect spot to have a metro. And you've got no metro there at all. You've got a metro running down here. Right, I'm going to do two things. Where's it gone? There it is. Yeah, because you've got this one over here, the uh, Hindrest Tower. That gets tourists. This gets tourists. You've got a big sort of tourist area here. I would move this so it's not off of that road. And I would put it off of this road down here. 
there we go instead so people are coming this way uh, this one here is adjoining to that road that's fine so you need a metro like smack bang around here so let's take this metro here now let's put that right in front of it we're gonna have one there we're gonna have one there and then we can have one this is the entrance to that can we squeeze that in here somewhere we can have that one there and then we're going to connect those up there we go we've run a line from there to the end so you've got this area here with the um whatever it was the aquarium the interest tower the expo center and then as you go along here you've also got this the science center over there and you've got the hospital here so i've put this metro sort of looping through there which would be good but then we want access to this so what i'm going to do is add in an extra stop over here and just make this area let's just see how we're going to do that yeah i'm going to delete these ones here let's pop that one in there and that can connect back up like it did and we can connect this one like that that's fine and then what we're going to do is we're going to put um an exchange we're going to have oh we've got this metro line here darn it completely forgot this one let's connect that one up as well there we go you can add some more stops in if you like so what i'm actually going to do here is drag that one to the end there we go and then we can add two more stops in there so we'll do that that's a stop on each direction there we go so we want them to be able to get from these loops here to this line that goes up there and i'm going to connect them across the middle and i found that works quite well so this is going to be our station where it changes don't worry these lines here will automatically kick in which is fine so we're going to have that over this side and then we're going to have another one by this one over this side and we're going to connect those two together i'm just going to bring that round to there there we go and we're going to have this exchange line one to the other and that's all that does is going to go backwards and forwards and get people to swap over and then we want to make sure that they can cross over well they can come out of there and cross over you've got a bus stop right by that which is on the face of it looks good and we're just going to move that along to here so it's not right next to that junction and that one and i think that's the only one yep there we go so they're going to walk along to there so keep keep your junctions clean there we go look we can already see people crossing over from one to the other which is great you could put a little path in there to help them do that so they don't cross over on that junction but it's not the busiest junction ever we can see them look underneath waiting for the metro train then they're going to come up over to here and what's it like to cross over here they can cross over right there yeah that's fine that's not too bad and then they can start getting around over to that area now as well as the highway addition that we put around the outside of the city here to try and sort of give these guys a chance to get onto your highway you also need to give them access to the highway in more than two places i think we found this place was one and then right at the other end was another one so all of these people in the middle here need to be able to get up and onto the highway so let's take a look and see if we can find any good spots there we go we can have a road like that going in to help them go in but we want to be able to give people the ability to leave as well right so this little roundabout you've got here i just told you about this and i wasn't recording uh this gives access to the highway in both directions but it's only comes all the way down to here and gives you know it's basically only going to be used by people along here i want to give these guys some access to it as well so i've flattened this uh roundabout out i've removed this highway i'm then going to just and say we're going to take this height and just sort of do that along there and then we're going to grab this road there we go this one here and we're going to go straight across from this island to this road up here there we go so that now gives people in here access to this island to come up and join the highway here and then i'm just going to connect these two highways back up again and this road that you've got cutting across here i mean you could just add some little little slip lanes onto here yep there we go so you've got another on and on off way there which is good people using this road yet yeah there we go we've got cars coming down here so that's giving all of these access to that let's have a look at our traffic up here it's moving a lot smoother there we go not look at that this little whoop, this little section here that we had all the traffic going into our expo center has just disappeared and there's not even that much traffic outside because as you can see look they're all coming out of the metro so that's the metro that does this little area up here and they're going to cross over there they go and they're going to dive into this metro over here watch the crowd 
There they go. So that gets them into the metro for this area down here. Fantastic. And we just move along here a little bit and we can add also a few more slip lanes off the highway into here, which will definitely help. So we're going to have one there. Let's have another one. Again, it's going to mean getting rid of some buildings, but for the overall betterment of your city, I think it's definitely worth doing. And you can, you've got this like road running along here. You, that's crying out for some sort of connection from the highway. So let's go like that, help people come off and get onto this road, which will be handy. There we go. And this was getting super busy here because it was this main road attaching to this main road. It was just too many main roads all coming together. So I've just put a little highway in there, a little highway roundabout, and then a crossing for the people. As you can see, look, they're very happy to cross over there and get from one side to the other. And I'm just thinking about this little connection you've got coming down here it actually connects into in a whole load of other places so i'm just going to make this road here uh, one way there we go facing out the other way that's it excellent just to keep things moving along smoothly and just a little bit further along you've got this busy roundabout here which is taking a lot of traffic from this industry and bringing it down into the city so what i've done i've left the roads that you've got again and uh, I've just gone through to make sure... Way Metropolis. Excellent. We're growing your city as well. You can hear that little ding you can hear in the background. If you don't play City Skylines very often, that is houses upgrading. So, or buildings upgrading. That means that people are getting what they need. They're happy. There we go. Ding, 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 ding. And they're all upgrading, which is fantastic. So, we're doing a good thing. So, yeah, this is pretty busy so i've put the giveaway coming on i've done the junction restrictions but still things are going slow because people are stopping so i'm just going to add some paths on this bridge as well there we go and turn off the crossing as well so once the last few people have crossed there we go this traffic here should keep moving they keep stopping there even though i've set everything up correctly so let's go here and have a look at the junctions look at that we've got a stop sign a sneaky stop sign we've got another one over here Let's get rid of that. So that should now... Look at that. That is cleared up. So much better. That is moving nicely. I've also made this road coming on giveaway. Kept everybody moving along here. That is clearing up nicely. And you've still got quite a lot of traffic. Again, you've got another cargo train terminal right by a main road. I would perhaps run that cargo train terminal off the side of here so it's got its own roundabout to decide where to go without clogging up all of this traffic but i'll let you do that if you want to another traffic hot spot in this residential area lots of cars are coming down here um what's going on at this junction yeah so let's just work our way along here and do a similar thing oh we've started it here yep so they're giving way these are going straight on um, I've done the thing here where we've got the left hand lane and this one straight on and all the junctions along here I've given priority to the main road, but we've got a lot of turning issues like here again. So let's grab our lane tool. You can go left. You can go straight on. We don't have a right. So we've got two straight on to one left. And we'll do the same. Actually, we've got a turning lane there. But we've got a second turning lane. So we'll make both of those straight on instead. So that turning lane for turn right, we don't want that to go straight on. We'll keep that moving. Hmm. You've got that little roundabout there. I would, in fact, have a roundabout here. Get rid of that connect. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do. Let's, let's do this. We're going to pause. We're going to get rid of this. We don't need two junctions going to the same place. Then we're going to put a little roundabout in there. Yep. So let's go like this into there. Okay, so that comes into there. Then we use this highway junction. And then we've got that giving way, that giving way. Yep. So that's good. So we just keep these guys going through the junction with that one and that one. That's taken out one of the junctions there. I would even to go as far as to take this one out just to keep that moving we've got some bus stops there let's just see where they can go to just not having too many junctions right near to an island and yeah i know a lot of the time it is putting islands in and i've had people saying to me do challenges where you don't use any islands but islands really do work when you have in this case two massive big main roads hitting each other square in the jaw and then everybody's looking at each other saying where do we go where do we go and there we go that's all gonna start freeing up hopefully and like this one here it's like a massive big road and a massive big road here that is just crying out for an island just to keep all of this moving and i you know i'll show you it works we'll stick one in 
Um, three lane highway. Yeah, errors occurred. Thank you very much. Whoa, what's happened there? <laughs> Let me fix that up. Yeah, this is a this is a particularly busy route, this one. So I'm just doing some lane stuff here. So we've got the roads using the lanes. There we go. We've got a lane for left, right, and straight on. So they can all sort of spread out a bit. Left, right, and straight on. And not get in each other's way. So let's have a look. Look at that. It's flowing. It's moving. I saw a comment saying they didn't like roundabouts because they're deliberately made to slow cars down. I disagree with that. I think if you had a traffic light here, you're waiting much longer than you would just with um, a roundabout, an island. You guys here are all switching lanes. Yeah, we need to let this run. Whoa, what the mummers is going on there? Uh, you're meant to be giving way, but you're deciding to just absolutely go for it. I'll tell you what we're going to do is turn that off and turn that off. Because obviously diving across, getting stuck. Yeah, they're using it to cut through down to the other side over here, aren't they? Where you've got another little roundabout where people are stopping. Look, I bet there's stop signs a go-go on this thing. Let's have a look. There is. Stop sign can go. Stop sign can go. And actually, the roundabout will start working. And uh, this one, yep. Yeah. And. Yep. Yeah. Is that what I want? You've still got crossing there, but I'll, I'll let that one slide. I'll let that one slide. And then we can just work along this road and say, yep, yeah, you've got to give way. You've got to give way. You've got to give way, you've got to give way, and suddenly everybody's moving. You also had your bus stops right here, right there. Look, I think there's even some more bus stops there. Yes, there is. So I've moved those back a bit. They were here, and I've moved them back to here. Of course, I've got your bus depot right there. That bus depot is going to move to somewhere where it's not so busy. That is just nuts. Let's just pop that over here. There we go. Also, just trying to find some other ways that we can help people get in and out of this massive uh, area down here. Is I'm going to attach this road that you've got down here. I don't know quite what you were going to be building, but we're going to grab that road and connect that up to the highway here. I think that would be a good idea. Well, we're managing to hit the 75, 76 sort of percent. It's moving, it's moving, it's getting there. So what I would give to you as a big suggestion is the main roads that you have going through through your city like these ones here don't have loads of little roads coming off of them um all over the place have one road that then feeds an area and comes back on again stopping all these little crossroads 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 right next to each other also bus stops don't have your bus stops um i i mean i would avoid having them on the main road have them go off onto a, a subsidiary road then the buses join the road or if you do have them on the main road don't have them right next to a junction it just slows things up allow them ways to get on and off to the highway much more than we did before there's loads of little places you could go through and just add ways on and off the highway which would really really help so there we go what do you reckon let me know in the comments below if you would like me to fix up your city follow the instructions in the pinned post below and then maybe check out the next video in the series on the screen too thank you very much for watching i will see you all soon take care Bye bye